You are a chocolate mousse in a cup and baby dolls. The video title is Richard Hart thinks Pulse Chain is better than Hex. This is meant to give you outrage. Don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. I love playing with ratios. I love playing with a lot of things. That's what she said. That's what we're here for. I like thinking conceptually about layer one chains, store of value. I want you to know, don't get stressed. You're in the undervalued gem anyway. They're all going to win. We're just playing around with, hey, are their prices too low? And there are prices too high. That's it. Within the ecosystem, there are many examples to go through. So I've made videos. I just want everybody to calm down. There's definitely opportunity here. I mean, you can't convince me otherwise. I've never seen this many people angry over something within the ecosystem. It was funny. No one cared about Pulse. And Hex as a battle until the E Hex P Hex battle got sorted out. Interesting, right? So, this is the E Hex P Hex chart of the red arrow. Got all the death threats, of course, as I've told you, literally two death threats. Still shocking to me. Like, hello. You know, I'm trying to help your bags go up, right? Now, when it comes to these, I think it's fascinating that after the snapback, we held the trophy up. We go, yeah, you're all actually cucks and you're wrong, which is great, right? But then battle's over. Move on. It's concluded. I found that fascinating. I thought you'd still see E hex, P hex. No one can care. They're like, okay, it's here to stay. You've earned your right. See you later. Just like that. Snap your fingers. But what I'm about to tell you, you know, it might shock you a bit, but it's not that shocking, friends. There are many things to go through. So there's a few facts you can't deny. One, if Hex was enough by itself, you wouldn't have Pulse Chain. You wouldn't have Pulse X. If Bitcoin was enough, Vitalik would have never made smart contracts, the general purpose blockchain. Humans like to add complexity and layers of risk. And yes, it does lead us into a lot of troubles, doesn't it? Even Richard Hart understand this. Richard Hart said, Hex is a better Bitcoin. And then he said, Ethereum, so Vitalik's Ethereum is better than Bitcoin too. Also, Ethereum will flip Bitcoin. So what he's saying is the ratio is going to flip. He's saying ETH BTC one day will be above 0 0.16, 0 0.15. It will be above that. That's what he's saying that. When he said that in the fourth quarter on many Twitter spaces and interviews, he said this, okay? That's his thoughts. People asked him about it. But then he goes, you know, Pulse Chain is actually a better Ethereum, right? We are the hottest thing on the block. So you reverse engineer that. You go, wait a minute. You're saying Pulse Chain is actually better than Hex. And a lot of people got upset. But don't worry, friends. Everything's going to be all right. These ratios are small. These are nothing. We are playing around here in ratio land. It's not the end of the world, but I love it. Why? Because if you get it right, you get to cheat. Now, what do you mean by cheat? Well, I don't advocate everybody to do this. I'm just telling you what I do. This is what I'm doing. I want to get more yield than five and 10 year stakers. I want to get that right now. I didn't seek out to, to like, to directly say to myself, okay, I want to cheat the system. I didn't say that. I'm just saying, wow, an opportunity has presented itself where if it plays out, you get to beat the yield on the system. Like directly buying down here and selling up here, you get 2.5x on your hex, which means if you had hex, not saying to do this, not financial advice, but at the red arrow, you converted hex into pulse, and then up here, you get back your hex, you're going to have 2.5 times more hex. You didn't have to stake it. Now, I've got to tell you again, 90% of your portfolio should be in core, 90 to 95%. You're only playing with your lottery portfolio. Obviously, I'm more experienced with these. Look what happened in the E-hex and P-hex battle. You saw how dangerous and destructive it was. And they're like, oh my gosh, Richard Hart is soft fighting E-hex and everything's going to zero. A lot of these come. So, so most people just have to be saved from themselves. Staking is the way to go. But this is just the reality of the situation. Now, I think it's interesting. 
I don't think Richard's going to come and say, he won't admit it. He's not going to come and say, Pulse is better than Hex. He won't say that. He's going to say, no, I like them both. I don't think he's going to say, P-Hex is definitively better than E-Hex. You should get rid of all your E-Hex. I don't think he's going to say that ever. All right. And even if he did, does it really impact it as much as we think? It will have a big effect at the start. I wonder if it would survive. Probably would survive, friends. You'd be surprised with how things work, okay? Just like how we thought the corrupt SEC would be the nail in the coffin. No, the community's still here, 180 content creators. We're also going to need some angel music to continue. Look at these examples. Vitalik, Lord Vitalik will not come out and say, I love Uniswap's contribution to Ethereum, which means I like that Ethereum got a price pump because of the DEX invention of Uniswap and all the liquidity home grew on Ethereum. And he's not going to say, I am now willing to turn a blind eye to its KYC. You see that? He's not going to say that. He just, he might do some rough words. He's not going to come out and be like, oh man, what he's doing? You're killing it. You're killing it. Leaders have to lead. This is what you're in for. This is what you're in a community for. How do you think you adopt new people, friends? You can't just make money out of thin air. You need people to believe in the system. You need a leader who knows what he's doing. You need this. Leaders can't choose favorites amongst kids, all right? Like parents, you will cause a lot of tension. A U.S. president will not come out and say, I wish that the bum states were more like Texas. They're not going to come and say that. I don't know what it's like out there in America land and if there's any battling between states, East Coast, West Coast, woo! I want to tell you once again, though, please do not be tempted by new shiny objects. If you're enjoying the hex ladder in the yield, stick to it, all right? I don't make me sick. Don't follow me. I don't want you to follow me. What I'm telling you is this. Look at eHex. Even though the ratio went down, did eHex disappear? No. Did the community disappear? No. And look, it still snapped back. It's alive, okay? But you don't know it's going to snap alive, do you? You just see red candles going down. What did I see? I'm telling you why I made this video. There are people who were selling their eHex bags down here. They were selling them down to freaking zero. They were emergency end staking and capitulating out and they missed out and the snapback happened. The victory. They got it wrong. You stay in the system, man. You are playing for Bitcoin $80,000. Yeah, I hope it hits $800,000, but let it, let it touch 60. Let it touch 70 and see where we are. But people want to give up already. Not the right thing to do. You already know this. 95% of us understand. But this is what's going through your mind. Now, why the focus on this? Well, we might go through more times like that with Pulse and Hex. We might see people give up on Pulse. Give up on Pulse X, right? By the way, when I say Pulse and Hex, it's also the same for Pulse X. Okay, so Pulse and Pulse X. Both of them equally love. Same thing. All right, because their ratio is pretty nice and tight. So if this continues to slide and do that, you're going to see the same arguments. People will be saying, ah, oh, you know, Hex is the best system. Pulse is a trash thing. We're copying it. You never know. You just don't know. It's also possible this thing snapbacks faster than we think and it moves in line with ETHBTC and we go up. It is possible too. But I'm just saying be prepared mentally. Don't capitulate bags. I am telling you this as a favor. I'm telling you, I'm still in. I'm actually accumulating more. This is what you want to see. If this was going down and I wanted nothing to do with it, that would be concerning because it's like, wait a minute, if you like something and now it's getting cheaper, why don't you like it more? You understand what's going on and that's why you're going to get a music pump again. I love and appreciate you. I buy the blood. I buy depression. I buy cheap prices. Other people... They sell in the blood. They are the blood. They sell into cheap prices. They make the cheap prices. You understand? There's a difference. One wins, one loses. If you hold everything, you end up being a winner. That's why I'm telling you, you don't have to move anything. Don't fondle your soap in the shower. You're going to screw yourself. A lot of people will. That's why I'm telling you, don't be tempted by new shiny objects. And look, it would also hurt me. I know people, they might just sell their pulse and pulse X if it continues downtrending and they just go buy something else. There's nothing wrong with the system. Everything's fine. This is what ratios do. Also, Hex gives you a nice yield. You actually get to earn the nice yield. Isn't that great? Without being like a validator and putting all that effort. I know people like number go up. Very addictive, isn't it? 
Don't forget this too. P-Hex people got to dance on E-Hex graves for five months. You understand? Five long months. I mean, a long, long, long. By the way, they're still dancing. They're still dancing here, yeah? Long time. Down, down, down. I said, but keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. Improve your average price. Snap. All right. So my E-Hex bullets, we only got to party naked for like 48 hours out of five months. All the wealth comes from holding long-term and adoption. And this is a peppy out in the spotlight, okay? This is exactly what we're talking about here. I want to tell you too as well, look at this. I read a lot of the comments in this thread and a lot of people are angry, okay? A lot of people are angry, which is actually, I can just repeat to you, opportunity, you're all angry. Why? I don't understand why everyone's angry. You know, it's the same founder. It's the same community. We're all on the same team. Pulse was made for freaking P Hex. Made for Hex. It's the same people. It's interesting. The same people who said Pulse Chain's the greatest thing ever when they're talking about P Hex. But now when you come and use this deductive reasoning, they're like, wait a minute. Uh, that kind of sucks when you use the same arguments on me that I use on E Hex. Yes. That's why you don't pick on people lower than you. Before Pulse Chain launched, I made many videos. I showed that Pulse. We know this. Pulse Chain and Pulse X are cycle one coins. Hex is cycle two. Yes, it's, there's going to be people saying, no, we're cycle one. I'm sorry. It's the same people, man. What do you mean cycle one? Where, where's the new people? There's no new people. It's the same 150,000 people with the same memories of 50 cents. They remember the coffin dance up the top. They remember the fake May 2022 launch. They remember Hex getting yeah, Richard Hart, the SEC suit. They remember the run up. They remember all of these people. They remember God, Whale, all the moves up and down. They remember Hex going up, crashing minus 99%. It's the same people. It's the same group of people. It's not like kind of similar. It's actually 98% the same people. Okay. And Hex has been around. It, everyone knows about it, man. Talk about it on Twitter. Same logo, same everything. They've heard about it. Okay. It's not Cycle 1 coin, Cycle 2. Now, Cycle 2 can go, can go very well. Ethereum did a 50x from its low as a cycle two coin. Fantastic. Cardano did like 150x as a cycle two coin from its low. Fantastic. So cycle two coins can do very, very well. And if that's not enough money for you, then like you're clearly not long enough. You got to get more, all right? Not financial advice, but you just use yourself as a signal. It's clear that there's opportunity though. So if I highlight this, like, it's very, it's fascinating, man. No one cared about this before when the E-Hex, P-Hex battle was going on. But now that the battle's concluded, the announcer said, all right, next challenges come up. All right, sweet. What are we moving on to? Hex and Pulse. <laughs> I wonder what's going to be after that. This is probably going to be something involving Pulse X next. I don't know. I'm going to keep collecting Pulse and Pulse X. I want you to know as well. So my cookie cutter build is 66%, okay, Pulse and Pulse X. And then you have your 33% in your Hex. Remember, 33% is not zero, all right? It's not zero percent. You still got both. Why? Because if the ratio keeps disconnecting lower, you want to keep deploying your bullets, don't you? It's going super, super, super cheap. But now, I mean, why I'm super aggressive, friends, because it's like it's it's really cheap right now. Like, it just broke the load down here. This was, a, this was the SEC capitulation, by the way. SEC capitulation, yes. Here we go. Into August. Now I was around here. Bang. See that? We're breaking below the SEC capitulation. Like, wow. That, I know a lot of people get scared. I'm like, no, that's that's really good value because Bitcoin and Ethereum's price seems to be mim mimicking these ratios. So I just want to repeat to you. I'm going to keep collecting Pulse and Pulse X. And <clears throat> at the end of the day, this is what, okay, just, just, <laughs> this is, this is the funniest part. This is the beautiful part. All right. So ETH BTC. If ETH BTC goes up to this point up here, this is 0 0.2, what happens? Okay, you sell your Ethereum to grab more Bitcoin because that, that's what you want, isn't it? All right, well, look at this. Pulse, Hex, if we go back up here, what happens? Well, you guessed it. You probably rotate some Pulse. And then you accumulate more hex. That's the whole goal. You made more hex. You made more of the store of value. It would be the same as somebody who makes a five. I mean, like, let's say you made 50% in a stock. 
Wow. They might say, hang on, I made 50% profits. Okay. Let me take 35% of those and buy gold. You know, hedge myself. That's it for long term. That's a, It's the same type of mentality. Now, we know gold obviously is not a cybernetic coordinates nest, but you get the point. It's the same as making money on an altcoin and rotating back to Bitcoin. Right. That's what the ultimate long-term goal is. So your pulse to hex, call, I'm just calling it a battle for fun. But is it really a battle? You're making more hex. You're staying in the ecosystem. That's what the whole point is. Remember I told you, I see this as an opportunity. If it works out, you end up making more yield. Ehex, Phex was an opportunity to make more Phex. You see that down here. Now you could get out. You got a nice three even ratio. Now, I wouldn't be sitting in all of it. Why? Because it's just the ratio has stretched that much with pulse and hex. That's all. If you want to sit on it, you can. That's, that's wonderful. There's no no problems with that. And everything's going to appreciate against USD anyway. That's why the ratios, they're just pendulums that swing. There are prices too low and there are prices too high. But I know this is really, this is really tough to get through because, man, when prices are going up and then we've gone up for three years like they were in the previous bull market, no one wants to get out. You're like, there's no price too high. I'm on the right side of history. Yeah, that's markets are tough and cruel, man. When it gets fun and exciting, that means it's time to go. You see that? You get the point now, friends? Like, wait a minute. How could you, how could you move out of Hex? It just got exciting. Yeah, it's done. I won the trophy. Give me the trophy. See? First place. See you later. I know this is why it's tough, and that's that's why I'm, I just I introduced these concepts to you to tell you when the big green monthly candles for Bitcoin are coming, right? You're not getting okay, sweet. Let's get happiness for like the next one or two years. We're not getting that. When we're looking at it, I mean, it. it I know oh, we're in here to win, but winning happens for such a short amount of time because now you know by the nature of adoption and Metcalf's law and everything, you're like, all right. You're, you're, okay, you're partying alone in a room, you got your pants off, and you got the disco lights, okay? And you're literally partying alone you're by yourself. You're eating jelly beans, you got your fluffy slippers on, you're spinning on your squeaky chair. And then you're like, man, I'm having the time of my life. I'm chilling, and I'm having a really good experience here. I wonder if everybody else would enjoy it too. I bet they would. So then you're sitting alone in your room, and then... A hundred people join you. So here you are. And then a hundred people join you. They come join you. In a normal world, you're like, sweet. Let's all party together. Let's party on for the next 48 hours. Let's not go home. Put your phone off. But markets don't work like that. Because in markets, when you're partying by yourself by buying in the depression, when those hundred people join you, it's exit liquidity. I know it's not. Nice to say, but that's what it is, man. That's what it is. You know it is. You know it is from the chart. Buying the depression, selling the euphoria. What's euphoria? There's 100x more people come in and they tell you, yeah, you're right. You're right. It is fun. It is amazing. But you can't trust them. Why? Because when the illicit substances wear off and they're like, oh, man, I haven't eaten in two days. I'm not feeling good. When they start talking like that, unfortunately in markets, they start selling. And they start selling fast and hard and they sell lows. When somebody has a pair of Nike shoes and it's not cool anymore and they don't feel good, they don't go to the shops and go, I want to exchange these Nike shoes. I don't like them. Whatever. They don't. They usually don't do that. You're just like, eh, I'll just leave them in the cupboard. You never know. Maybe need another time. Unfortunately, with markets, humans don't do this with perception of value. When we feel bad, we let go. We get rid of it. Fast. It's it's powerful. You gotta respect it. So that's why remember the price too low and the price too high. Even Ethereum maxis will say, I'll never sell my ETH. I get yield, I can swap it. It's amazing. And I say that's a load of crap. What if I gave them one whole Bitcoin for one Ethereum? Do you think they'd take it? I bet you they'd all take it. They would all secure their long-term bag. Effectively, what I've told you is that ETH BTC ratio, I've given them a price so high they can't refuse. I've given them a price all the way up here, one-to-one. -one. That's what I've done, all the way up there. Uh, this is just that's how markets work. There are prices too low, there are prices too high. 
You know, even Ethereum lovers. Now, these same principles, they work for Hex, Pulse, and Pulse X. Ultimately, at the end of the day, though, you just think in your mind, you go, hmm, can I imagine Hex at $1 one day? Yes. All right, well, wouldn't it be mad if I take took profits and I made more Hex? That's all you're doing with these ratios. It is what it is. But ultimately, at the end of the day, there's something you really got to think about. What's the downside volatility going to be in the next bear market? Because like, just, just, just to have an honest conversation with yourself. If you, you saw what a minus 99% drop felt like, right? I don't know how much, how much do you really want to ride that in the next one? And what would dwindled volatility be? 95%? Because 99% is horrific. Nine, minus 95% doesn't feel good either. When does it even start remotely feeling okay? Maybe Ethereum's minus 80%. You know, if Hex dropped from 50 cents back to 10 cents, I don't think anyone would be all, feel too bad. But because it went below, like way below, you know, that's that's something to think about. But now you know, friends, there are prices too low, there are prices too high. It's just up to you whether you want to play in this game. Just know that the professionals, they are playing in that game and you really got to understand it because there are going to be disconnections of the spreads and you're going to be tempted. To be, your friends and family will be tempted like, ah, oh, I want to get rid of this thing. Nope. It's just getting into the extremely cheap zone. And if you can, try to accumulate more. Just like me and you accumulate friendship. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button all. Tell mom and dad we did not go all in. We won't go all in. And none of this is financial advice. You can do what you want. I love and appreciate you. Let's go. Catch you soon.